Hello everyone, and welcome along to episode 3 of Art Time with Mr. Gabe. Fifth graders, my apologies. I asked you all to find a cardboard or plastic tube or a box um, so that we could do a project. Um, unfortunately, when I did my test for that project, it didn't go very well. So maybe we can try when we're in school and I can help you all with it. But for a home project, it's, it's going to be, I think that it would be hard for everybody. So I've scrapped that idea. And instead, I have a, another um, drawing project for you. OK, let's get into it right away. So who remembers at the start of the year when we were still in school, um, we did a project that used one point perspective. One point perspective is where you have like a point in the middle that's called the vanishing point, And we drew it like with the lines kind of disappearing into the vanishing point. And you might have put some, uh, we, we drew it with the buildings along um, along these lines or maybe you did it with uh, maybe it was a corridor with doors something there's windows anyway we're not doing that again but what we're going to remember from that is that um, we can draw things bigger or smaller and give the illusion that they're nearer to us or further away. Okay, so we give the, we it's like a trick. We give the illusion of depth in the drawing, whether something is drawn big, it's closer to us, or if it's small, it's further away. We're gonna use that same trick. We're not gonna do it exactly the same way. In this picture, um, we, it's like a, it's a cartoon picture of somebody falling into a big hole um, they're falling backwards and looking up at us so it might be quite hard to imagine but as I start to draw it hopefully you'll see so what we need to do is is do some shapes here these are going to be these are going to be the feet and these are going to be the hands sort of rough area for the hands and feet right so then the hands they'll be divided up into fingers and thumbs of course same on this side oh that finger went a bit funny didn't it and the feet Feet, well, you, it's up to you. You can do um, bare feet if you want with toes, or you can have your person wearing shoes. It's much easier if they're wearing shoes. Those are the legs. So the legs have to get go from being big to small very quickly and so do the arms right and um, it's quite good if you do your person with long hair because then the hair can be like flying back like this and we want to do like a kind of surprised face because they're falling. They might be shouting, help, help, I'm falling. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is use color to create a sense of depth. And 
And so, taking the pencil again, we're going to just draw in some circles just for guidelines. Um, something like that. And the, the character is going to be falling into a kind of magic portal. Yes, a magic portal, a cosmic gateway through time, something like that. So we're going to have bright, bold colors, starting with the darkest color, um, starting with the darkest color in the middle. So I've got this dark purple. Okay, there we go. Now you'll see at the moment the way that the, the person is, is not colored in yet. And um, the, the character really stands out against those bright colors, which makes the picture really kind of dramatic, doesn't it? Well, the bright colors of our magic portal. And it really looks like the, the character is falling into this, um, this picture. So if we want to keep that effect, we, we can't color it in the same way and it's a really good a, a really good thing to do here is to color the the person with um, colored pencils not with markers and that will keep the that'll keep it standing out yeah so I've got my selection of colors here I'm going to start with um, a kind of a flesh color skin color well at least my skin anyway sort of this color isn't it Oh, you know, before I do the bottom of the shoes, I'm going to bring the marker back again and put um, put like a pattern on the on the bottom of the shoes. So I hope you have fun making your pictures, and um, I hope that everything's okay at home and that you're not. Uh, going out of your mind with boredom. Hope you don't look like this guy falling into a terrifying abyss of mundane existence where everything's the same every day. No, it's not that bad. I'm sure it's not that bad. Well, I hope it's not that bad. Um, if you want, you can take a picture of your art and send it to me. Or um, please, also, please keep the drawings safe so we can bring them back to school and we can have a big art display of all the art that we've made um, over this quarantine period. And um, yes, I hope to see you there at school again soon. Okay, bye.